Welcome, Virgos. Uh, this is the Taurus um, season. This is your finance, money, and wealth reading. It's all about for um, a business entrepreneur career um, people, business people. This is not a few. Uh, this is basically for business people, freelancer, um, that sort of a people. Okay, people who are working. Um, have business or freelancers. Alrighty, let's see what we have. So I see a lot of you are going to be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion people. And I see a lot of you are going to become entrepreneurs and is going to be creating um, business for yourself. I see a lot of you young Taurus, Vir uh, young Capricorns, or young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorns um, uh, could be dealing with uh, some sort of a situation. I see some of you Virgos are going to be dealing um, with a young uh, Taurus person. Whether this young Taurus person is, I see that a lot of you are going to be dealing with it. If you look, there is a lot of people in your reading, ladies and gentlemen. And you got to be aware of this because there's a whole lot of people in, um, in this reading. And whatever is happening and transpiring, um, this is the energy of... Uh, uh, the second house, okay, and you are Virgos, and this is your sister season or brother season, the Taurus season, okay, and a lot of you Virgos are going to be dealing with a Taurus person. Now, whoever this Taurus person is and whatever is happening and transpiring, I see there's issues and situation where a lot of you are going to be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, people, both men and women, okay, older um, uh, older women, but younger men, a lot of you are going to be dealing with, and you got to recognize what is uh, coming up and transpiring on, and in the weeks that you're going to be having this issue, but a lot of you are having supervisors or boss or, um, co co-workers, and it's the uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, young lady, some of you, you're going to be starting your business that is a surety, and some of you are going to be dealing with supervisors or people your own age that is going to be affecting you, okay? Let's look at the first week. The first week is uh, uh, May, um, April 20th until April 26th. A lot of you are dealing with a young Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person. This person is between, is, is a male, um, definitely. Um... This person is a male, and this person is between the ages of uh, uh, 19 and not older than 50. Whoever this person is, they're in the reverse, and uh, um, this energy of this person being in the reverse, you got to be careful of this person. Whenever people comes up you're in your reading in the reverse, so be aware of these people around you, okay? Because whoever this young person is could be... Um, taking news and it's a young man. This young man is uh, um, between the age of 19 and uh, 50. And this person could be taking news to the supervisor, okay, or a management. So be aware of that in the first week. In the second week, um, that is the week of the 27th until May 3rd, you're dealing with a uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion woman. Now they're not showing up who they are, but uh, this person is uh, very emotional and it is a manager, okay, or a supervisor or someone who is older than you are. Be aware of this person, whatever is happening and transpire. I see that some of you, um, this person could be helping to support you with the work that you're doing. And I see that this is going to be good because I see this person is going to be coming in and supporting you. Uh, this could be some sort of a supervisor or a manager that is going to be giving you a push up, okay? This person really recognizes the work that you're doing and that you have the potential to grow and this person is going to be pushing you up the ladder. So this is going to be good. Um, I see that um, whoever this person is, uh, they... They are coming from a place of goodness, um, where they really uh, see that uh, a lot of you can climb the ladder. 
and they are willing to work with you to get you um, at the top. And this is going to be good. Let's look at uh, the third week. The third week we have uh, the Seven of Pentacles. And the energy of the Seven of Pentacles is Saturn in Taurus. Saturn in Taurus. So a lot of you, um, if you're self-employed, uh, a lot of you who are working on projects, a lot of you who are freelancer, I see you're going to be bringing back some sort of a discipline on the work floor or discipline with um, your career, discipline um, with um, your job or your your position or your target. Um, you you know you're going to be bringing back some sort of a discipline. You're going to be showing up for and showing people a new procedure and how uh, to, to to balance out things. And this is going to be extremely good. It's as if people are going to be, um, you know, connecting with you. People are going to be wanting to work with you. People are going to be wanting to be on the team with you because people are recognizing that hey, um. You know, this Virgo uh, knows how to uh, create. So some of you could be networking. I see a whole lot of networking. I see people are going to be wanting to connect and is going to be wanting to networking with a whole lot of you. So let's say that you have just started a business or um, you have been self-employed for a while. You have been trying to um, connect and the right people are going to be coming in. Um whoever is having or is um, the manager of some sort of a project at the workplace. So this is another thing that a lot of people are going to be really working together, really working in a team. And a lot of you are going to be happy um, where this is going. A lot of you were surprised. So a lot of you were um, didn't want to take on um, some sort of a, a position and uh, now you're in the position you recognize, hey, I'm good at this. And people are listening to me and people are working as a team. And I see a lot of you are going to be happy. If you decide, whatever you decide to do, the the first, the third week is going to be your best week. Whatever you decide to do, um, the third week is going to be the best week to make any decision. The second week and the third week is going to be your sweet weeks, okay? And the second week is uh, um, the 27th of uh, um, uh, April until the 3rd of May. Um, then we have the other sweet week is going to be the 2nd, um, the uh, 4th of May until the 10th of May. That is going to be a very, very good week for you, Virgos. Then when we look at the week of uh, the 11th until the 20th, I see a lot of you are dealing with a, um, you, you know, a lot of you women could be dealing with some sort of an issue that you are giving out more or you have to get a whole lot of work done. So uh, young women, 19 until 50, a lot of you are going to be very, very busy in this week. Some of you, um could be having some sort of an issue with a Taurus with the Taurus or a Capricorn. All right, so be aware of this that whether um this is a lot of you on the work floor could be having um some sort of an issue, and I see that uh, um a Taurus Virgo, a Taurus or a Capricorn is going to be helping you out. So this is going to be good because, um, you know, these these signs, these these Taurus and this Capricorn, are really people who can help you. Um, so it could be a lot of you have so much work to do. A lot is uh, on you, and I see that this uh, hurt sign person is going to be coming in to give some of you a hand. So this is going to be good. Um, whatever is happening in Trans Sparring. Uh, whoever this earth sign person is, is going to be really, um, you know, working together into, in order to help you to get through, um, a very, very busy period that is going to be coming up May, uh, 11th until May 20th. So this is going to be a very, very, um, good tourist season for you, Virgos. Uh, so, 
recognize this and I see um, that whoever you were dealing with um, that was creating some sort of a problem in the first week, you know, this person uh, is going to be removed as you move out of this season um, you're going to be having less issues to deal with this person on the work floor. Ladies and gentlemen, choose your crystal, okay? And in order to choose your crystal, use the link below. Uh, if you're not yet a member, you have to join. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And um, thumbs up because then the video will pick up. People will pick up the videos. I do love you guys. And I have to say, um, wishing you a wonderful, wonderful um, uh, Taurus season. It's going to be good. Um, it's without any issues. It's, it's, it's as if it's going to be smooth going. All right. I do love you. I gotta go. Namaste. Until next time. Yeah.